Hi, my name is Thomas Schulz and I am the developer of A1 Website Analyzer. In this video I will demonstrate some of the website analysis tools you can find in the software. The first thing you need to do is to type in a website address and scan it. In this demo we have already scanned our website. To view all the data collected during the website crawl, click on the Analyze Website tab. The data you see here is determined by which columns are visible and which filters are active. If for instance we want to see all information like titles, descriptions, headers and similar, we will switch off visibility of most columns and enable visibility of columns containing extracted data. There's also a quite unique feature that will allow you to visually inspect if pages have duplicate content. I will just show it to you here. We will disable most columns just for convenience. Enable the column page content duplicates visual view. This is a bit of an experimental tool, but it should give you a good idea if some pages contain similar content. For instance, our newsletters seem to contain somewhat similar content. A1 Website Analyzer also comes with lots of built-in reports that will configure columns and filters for you automatically. For instance, you can view duplicate descriptions, headers and titles, and you can see the URLs are grouped by the duplicate page title here. And if you want to further narrow it, we can type in some text. And we just type wrong, but here it is. And uh, while that is good enough in, in and itself, there are also many more reports available, for instance, like broken links. You can see we have some broken links internally, but let's check our outgoing links. We click this URL, go into extended data, click on link by, and here we can see this URL was linked by these three URLs, how many times, at what lines, using what text anchors, and if follow or no follow, follow links. We can also see redirects. And this is a great way to quickly see if all your redirects are, are correct. For instance, you can check to what URLs they redirect and the response code of those URLs. We also have things like uh, you can filter on URLs that are disallowed by robots.txt, no index, and we also have if which URLs point to other using canonical. Again, this is much like a HTTP redirects. You can see the, U the URLs and to where they point at and the response codes of those URLs. Now, sometimes you are in, in a situation where you may want to um, only see titles of a certain size pages with tiles above a certain size. There's a built-in report for that. Now, suppose you want to see something that there's no built-in re report for. For instance, you want to see page descriptions above 150 characters. Make sure the appropriate columns are visible. In this case is only page description. Then pick the correct filter. Instead of only show URLs with title length above a certain number, pick only show URLs with description length above a certain number. Then type in the number you want. And there you have all page URLs with page descriptions above 150 characters. Sometimes you may encounter situations where you want to check if pages in your website contain some specific code or text. It is possible to define patterns you can search for. There are some built-in ones to pick from or you can define your own. Here we have defined a, a pattern 
that we have named GA underscore new, which basically means we will search all pages for this code used by Google Analytics. And uh, what we do here is simply switch off visibility of all columns, switch on visibility of page custom searches. We can already now see results for all page URLs, but we can limit it further. Suppose we have searched for multiple things, we could simply type in GA new, and then we only see results that uh, where Google Analytics was correctly installed. If you do unpaid SEO or SEO, you should check out the, the page keywords tool. And here we will just uh, analyze active address. We have already pre analyzed it, but we'll just do it again. And here you can uh, experiment giving titles different values on, or different weight in how much they impact the overall scoring mechanism. So this is a great way to optimize your pages with appropriate titles, headers, and so forth. Now taking SEO a step further, we will click on the built-in reports show only page URLs and SEO relevant data columns. And here we can see things like internal importance score. This is basically, basically something that scores your internal linking. So important pages are those that are linked the most. So this is basically, you know this algorithm from various search engines. Basically pages that have many incoming links pass on more value than the link to other pages. And this is the final score on a scale from one to 10. So you can there see how your internal linking promotes different pages in your website. Hopefully your internal linking um, gives most linked use to your important content pages. If not, maybe that's something to take a look at. You can also see uh, how many clicks away a certain uh, a certain uh, URL is. For instance, you can, from the front page, come to this URL with a single click. You can also see the text content, how, how high percentage the text content is as compared to how much code you have. You can also see all the various important keywords extracted during the scan. Over here in page, can, okay, we will just we will just have to resize some of these. It's a bit of an expert feature if, for instance, you have other tools you want to process this data as well. But here, the important keywords are extracted during the scan. This feature is only available if you scan using perform keyword analysis for all pages during the site crawl. A site analysis tool would not be complete if it was without HTML, CSS, and spell checking. So of course you can enable this as well in uh, in, in scan website data collection. You can en enable those options here. So viewing the website data extracted during the crawl, we will just select the appropriate data where we want to see all validation results. We want to switch off our filter. And we will actually want to switch off all columns first before enabling visibility of these columns there. Now we can see offhand our website has lots of HTML, CSS and spelling errors. Let's check if that is really the case. We click here on the selected URL and then we dive into details and run uh, HTML validations. And here we can see the number of errors match up. So we truly have that many HTML and CSS and spelling errors. But same goes for CSS and actually also spelling. You can dive into details and check it out further if you want to do so. All the data you have seen here 
doing this video is something that you can export to CSV files, which means you can view the data in Excel and similar tools. At this point, you have seen some of the common uses of A1 Web Search Analyzer, and I hope you enjoyed the video and will consider following us on Google Plus or similar. At least we hope to see you there. Be sure to ask if you have any questions. Bye-bye.